every single generation of human beings up until really only 200 years ago saw a star-filled sky every single night of the year. We are made of stardust. We are the descendants of ancient stars in the sense that some of the elements that were fused in the interiors of those stars were incorporated into our own bodies. You look out there among the stars, you see what's out there, you want to understand it. You want to know how did it get there? You know, are we alone? Shakespeare and all the sonnets that involve astronomy and the moon, Van Gogh and the Starry Night, so many people have been inspired because they were able to see a starry night sky. But our children today, so many missing out on that. 80% of North American and, and European populations no longer live someplace where they can even faintly see the Milky Way. It's estimated here in the United States up to 40% of the lighting that we use is wasted. It's just money down the drain. We waste most of the light that we install in cities by having it shine straight up into the air. There are street lights that are so uncomfortable that you have to put your hand over your eyes. And it's atrocious that we have this in our environments. Absolutely atrocious. The light that we put on our head inside of the cities as a consequence during the day, you have an excessive sleepiness. Asteroids and comets are still out there. We have the ability to detect them, but only if we can see them. Artificial light at night reduces the number of visits to flower by about 60%. In Florida alone, every year, tens of thousands, maybe even 100,000 or more hatchlings are disoriented and go toward the land rather than toward the sea. About one billion birds die every year in the United States just from collision. National parks are such a great place to come and view the night skies because there's so few places left that don't have the intrusion of light pollution. You come out to here, it's like having a giant veil lifted off of your mind. Light pollution is the one form of pollution that's relatively easy to solve. And literally with the flip of a switch or it's a minimum mental investments, you can return the night skies and you can solve the problem. Don't put lights in where you don't need it. Put the right amount in the ground, shield it so it goes in the ground, and turn it off when it's not needed. Most of the big cities right now are making the switch and are going with the warmer products. At our cost of service, we're projecting that we will save close to a million dollars per year on electricity costs alone. All of those areas where we've done lighting retrofits and reduced the light, shielded the light, and kept it from shining on the beach, we've seen disorientations go down to zero. There's no evidence of increased crime because of seashore friendly lighting. There's no reason why you can't have excellent lighting and still see the stars. Astronomy and dinosaurs, I mean, those are the two things that every kid seems to, to be fascinated by. It makes me feel peaceful. It feels really magical. Whoa! 